Good afternoon, Riverdale Elementary families. In advance of a, a change in our attendance model for next week, I want to share some updates with everybody. Uh, so again, our attendance model is changing next week. Within a normal week, that means our in-person students would be attending school four days a week with remote learning on Wednesdays. Next week's a little bit unique because we also have Monday off for President's Day, which means we'll have no learning taking place virtually or in-person on Monday. All of our in-person students will attend on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, with Wednesday being that remote learning day. In a normal week, it would just be Wednesdays as a remote learning week. So I've attached our calendar here for you guys. Please check that out, put, you know, take a picture of it, save it somewhere, print it off, so that way you can use that as a reference throughout second semester. Uh, again, any date changes for, you know, with spring break, end of the school year, anything uh, that's on there is up to date. Next week, we have a number of new routines or changes that we're making within the building uh, to make things work efficiently here. Uh, but one thing that we are doing that may impact some of our families is our preschool uh, has an alternative location for pickup at the end of the day. So that only impacts our preschool families at the end of each day. Mrs. Olson and Mrs. Scahill have shared out that information. Um, you know, if you're unaware of it or have some questions, please reach out to them before pickup on Tuesday. Also, all of our report cards uh, have been sent home with those students who are attending in person, except for those maybe out for uh, illness or another reason at this time. We'll make sure your child gets theirs when they come back. Otherwise, our remote learners or any of our families can access report cards via TeacherEase, uh, usually on the left-hand side of the, the parent uh, portal option. Uh, there's uh, a tab there that says report card. Just click into it and you should be able to see your child's grades there. Uh, the last thing I just want to share with you guys, uh, you know, granted, we, we still want families doing COVID screenings, checking in, doing some of the things that, that we've been doing. Uh, but as we look ahead, you know, I'm certainly encouraged. I know our staff are encouraged to get our students back in the, in the building more often. Uh, we, we know that that's going to lead to, to better instructional outcomes. You know, with that being said, our, our students have been uh, assessed over the last week in our, our benchmark assessment for reading specifically. You know, that's for anybody who's been attending in building and some of our remote learners as well. And we're seeing incredible gains in our students, which is so exciting for us. Uh, but also, we're very mindful that we have a long ways to go and a lot to do this spring to make sure our, our children get what they need. So uh, we have some new plans in place and, and some opportunities and resources available to some of our students that maybe they hadn't had in the past. Uh, and we're looking to implement some of those for third quarter as well, especially uh, during fourth quarter. Uh, but like I said, we're, we're encouraged where we're at, and we're also encouraged that we're going to four days of in-person learning. Uh, you know, I can say selfishly as a, as a parent of a, a couple students in our building, uh, you know, how excited I am to, to have them uh, in school four days a week, and I'm sure many of you guys are as well. Thank you for all of your hard work and efforts to, to try to give your children the, the best opportunities to be successful in, in such a, a difficult and challenging school year. Like I said, we're, we're so thankful that we have supportive families that, that really partner with us to help our children out. Uh, but again, uh, although I am excited that today and tomorrow we have two Valentine's Days and we've had two ha Halloweens, uh, you know, our teachers have always had an A group and a B group and a, an A bookmark and a B bookmark and, and so on and so forth. Uh, we're kind of excited to get back to some normalcy, and I know our families are as well. And we're hoping that throughout the spring, we're able to roll some things back and, and adjust our approach as well. So, again, thank you guys so much. We look forward to, to what next week might bring. Uh, and I hope everybody has a, a wonderful weekend, uh, and take care, guys.